Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Vortex Gaming and Reaction. Welcome to another video that I I'm gonna make about the Feastables. I'm not trying them, <laughs> even though I wish I could try them. But anyway, uh, so what happens, guys, is that two days after I released my video about the Feastables, the old Feastables uh, from the Mr. Beast, he's holding one in uh, his hand right now. So two days after that video, uh, he released this video it's called i made the world's best chocolate for you <laughs> okay now uh, if you guys have seen my video where i uh, where i'm testing the um, the feastables they were not good <laughs> the old ones they they were not really good okay so what happens in that video is that the two chocolates that were not supposed to have alcohol inside so that was the dark chocolate and the milk chocolate. Uh, when I tasted them, I could taste the alcohol in those chocolates. And the other ones, the these nuts and um, uh, what was the other one was um, puff rice. They were supposed to have alcohol inside them and I couldn't taste the alcohol. So there was something really weird in the in those chocolates. I'm not sure what happened there. The fact that he's I mean. To be fair, uh, in most of his video, he doesn't videos. He doesn't call his chocolate the best chocolate in the world. He was saying uh, they were better than Hershey's. Uh, again, I haven't tried the Hershey's before, so I have no idea how the Hershey's tastes. But now he's calling the new Feastables the best chocolate in the world. So let's watch the video. Let's see what what happens here. What he's talking about. I don't know uh, if he's explaining anything. And uh, then we will continue with. Uh, uh, some more thoughts and uh, ideas and stuff. Uh, if you guys enjoy, please like and subscribe. And uh, without further ado, let's move to the video. So this is my old Feastables chocolate bar, and yeah. as you know, it tastes better than a Hershey's. <laughs> uh, again, I have no idea about the Hershey's. For sure, they don't. They were not tasting. I mean, they were decent, but they were not good chocolate for sure. Now I know what you're thinking. Jimmy, why are you engulfing your old bar in flames? Well, it all started about one year ago. I was in a Feastables business meeting, and I realized <laughs> tasting better than Hershey's wasn't so special. Doesn't everything taste better than Hershey's? What's up with this Hershey's? Can anyone tell me in the comments if they're actually good chocolate or not? <laughs> because he's dissing on this Hershey's like really, really hard. None of you felt the need to tell me this? <laughs> If everything tastes better than Hershey's, what makes us special? Nothing. <laughs> yeah, well, the answer is nothing. <laughs> and to be honest, myself and my entire company weren't exactly fans of that harsh truth. And so I set out to do something better. And what's better than being better than Hershey's? My fire. Well, how about being better than everyone? The best on earth. And from Man, I, um, I doubt. He, he can actually do that. Work tirelessly. Like I'm talking barely even sleeping. I traveled from country to country, chocolate factory to chocolate factory. Tried out hundreds of formulas, which eventually led us to this. The best tasting chocolate ever made by mankind. <laughs> oh my God. I don't know. Mr. Beast, my dude, I love you, but. Also known as our brand new Feastable Bar. This is the best tasting chocolate on earth. Good job, boys. Whoa, 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 whoa. How do we know that's the best tasting chocolate in the world? You're fired. Leave. I was just going to say that we do a blind taste test. Wait a minute. We should prove it in a blind taste test format. That's genius. Oh! Who's going to do the blind test? I, I suppose people, right? They're going to take some people and do the blind test. <clears throat> where I'm going to invite hundreds of strangers to do a blind taste test on our brand Okay, that's quite a lot of people New chocolate All four of these pieces of chocolate have no branding And there's no labels distinguishing anything between them The only <clears throat> thing they are voting on is taste So now it's time to see how our new chocolate formula holds up to three of the top year Okay, Cadbury, obviously Icelandic chocolate Never tried that one I don't know what It's a number two there And obviously Lindet Okay, now in my video, uh, I mean that's not the real that's not the the real deal for Lindet. That chocolate there is it's okay, but there are even better chocolates than that one for sure. I can assure you about that. But yeah, I was comparing uh, the Feastables with the Lindet, and pff, they did us to the chance, my friend. <laughs> now I don't know about this formula. I really want this chocolate. I can't find it in UK, 
I've, I've, I've searched for it, I, but I can't find it. Uh, I will have to contact someone from America. Maybe if I know some people there, I'll try to get in touch with someone there and see if uh, they can uh, buy it for me and send it here in uh, in UK. Because at the moment you can't buy it on uh, Amazon or uh, any... I mean, the festivals, you cannot buy them in shops here in uh, UK. Okay, that's for sure. I'm going to watch after this one. I'm going to see if I can uh, find a website or something where I can uh, purchase some of this, if there is possible. Uh, so yeah, so he has two of the best chocolate, Cadbury and Linden, so I don't know. Let's see if I uh, actually... <laughs> People think is better. In chocolates. Okay. Of course she picked Feastables. I'm gonna go with the first one. Yep. That has a really nice bite to it, and it's a little bit richer than the other ones. I'm not even surprised by what she's saying. Another one. I like that a lot. It's really good. <laughs> I would eat that every day. That is what an intelligent man looks like. So weird taste you haven't tasted it before. It reminds me of like, it's not Hershey. Hershey's not that good. Better than Hershey's. Wow. This might bankrupt Hershey's. That chocolate for sure. Another one. Back to back to back to back. I'm gonna be honest, we just keep... Is it real? Did all these people actually chose that chocolate? Or did they maybe... I, I don't know how... Maybe the other chocolates were not that great. I mean, the Lindor, like I said, uh, he should have gone for the Lindors. The ones that I show you guys in the in the previous episode. Uh, see how it... Uh, the feastable compared to that one. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm not... I'm not gonna come here and say that Mr. Beast is uh, faking the, the videos and the people. So I'm just talking bullshit here but i thought maybe like you know the people they they've been advised from the beginning they should choose that one and maybe mr bc doesn't even know about it or maybe it's fake you know there were uh, i think it showed like 200 and something people you know so that's quite a lot of them obviously he's not going to show all of them what they chose but even like 10 people there were like around 10 people that we saw here and they chose the festival so 10 out of 200 it's it's okay it's not a bad number but is not great because I'm assuming not everyone chose the festival, right? He's got he is, he showed us only the people that chose it. Keep winning, it's boring. <laughs> and the new bars come in seven flavors: milk chocolate, thank you, a milk crunch, yes please, so almond, peanut butter. <laughs> Used to be called these nuts, but you know. <laughs> Mr. Beast loses these nuts legal battle to company behind. <laughs> okay, the popularity was in order to stop selling. Is this not brandy chocolate bars after losing a trademark infringement dispute? <laughs> okay, I mean, yeah, it's it's the same, you know, <laughs> it's the same. You can, uh, yeah, I, I mean, I, I didn't know there is a chocolate like that has this name, these nuts, you know. Um, obviously, he changed the S for the Z, so <laughs> that wasn't much of a change. Um, yeah. It wasn't a, a a nice move from him to call uh, to basically steal the name from that uh, company, you know. <laughs> All right. Peanut butter crunch. That one. Dark chocolate. Mine. And dark chocolate sea salt. Thank you. The new bars are available nationwide at every single Walmart. And starting February seventeenth, for a thirty days straight, we are going to be giving away ten thousand dollars. Ooh. So starting today, basically, yeah. Man, I really need to get my hands on one of these. <laughs> Customer who scans the QR code on the back of it. Okay. Any new feastable bar. So go give the new bars a try. You might win 10 grand, and I can't wait to see what all of you think. Okay. <sighs> go try a new feastable bar. You could win 10,000. Okay. Um, so once again, the uh, the old feastables not good. Now the this new formula, I don't know. I really want to get my hands on it because. Uh, now I have this battle inside me <laughs> to uh, understand if it's actually the best chocolate in the world, like he's calling it. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I'll have to find someone, maybe even one of you guys, if you watch this video and you're from America and you can get in touch with me and send me one of these, that would be a great. Yeah. I promise I will send you back the package to scan the QR code and get the $10,000 if you're lucky enough. I promise you, <laughs> I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna steal the money, you know, because I, you might send me uh, the chocolate and then I scan it and I win the ten thousand dollars when you could get that price. So I'm not here to, I mean, it's at the end of the day, it's just ten thousand dollars. You're not gonna do much with them, you know. Uh, it's not gonna, I don't, I don't want to lower myself to that point where I'm gonna, I'm gonna be like, okay, I'm gonna steal. But if you, any of you guys, actually. 
uh, wants to help me out because I can't do, I can't buy it here in UK. Okay, I would like to make a video and uh, taste them and see how they taste. You know, maybe two, three chocolates, different flavors, whatever. It doesn't matter which flavor. But anyway, I will try on my own to find uh, someone from America to get in touch with some. I think I know someone there, and see if I can uh, get in touch with them and. Um, have some of these uh, festivals, the new ones, sent here to UK, so I can taste them and um, and make a video about them. You know, uh, I hope they they are good. Honestly, I really hope they're good. And uh, I'm not sure if it's gonna be the best chocolate in the world, but for sure they're gonna be better than what I've tried. Because the old ones, again, I'm gonna repeat it more and more. They were not good chocolates. Okay, and. I feel sorry because it's Mr. Beast and I don't want to dismiss his chocolate and all his hard work that he put into that chocolate, but uh, I didn't like it. Guys, uh, thanks for watching. Let me know if you can actually help me and uh, send me one, two of these chocolates so I can taste them. If you guys enjoy it, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.